Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Fanatics Unboxed. We've got a big order, actually two good size orders this week. Uh, eight boxes, that would be the biggest order we've done anytime recently. Though a lot of big pond fish bags. I'm going to get right in here because we've got a lot to do. Let's start with our specialty fish. First thing out of the box is, what are you guys? Let's see. Oh, yeah, those are the, the freckled cichlids. I got a whole bunch of Central American cichlids. Some of these guys I've never actually had before. Uh, these guys are called a freckled cichlid. Super cool. Dude, they're in the same family as the platinum cichlids. Oh, here's one decent sized waru. Six of these guys in the bag. Came in a little bigger than sometimes. Looks like they went ahead and single bagged them for us. another L114. That's those leopard cactus plecos. You've seen a lot of these in the videos because I keep buying them and you guys keep buying them and they just keep flying out of here. So there's that L114 cactus pleco. Uh, in here we have bitty 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 guys. These are uh, Bridget's Rasbora or Chili Rasbora, they're better known as. Awesome little nano fish. Fast. Yeah, they pop around like Tupaca, like popcorn. So we've seen a couple of these guys recently. These are the larger size L191 Royal Pleco, the broken line. Of course, this is not a large 191. They get a foot and a half, but the size they've been coming in at are well started. I like them a lot. I told you guys I had a bunch of Central American cichlids. A bunch of these guys I've never actually seen before. Uh, this guy right here, it's called a topaz cichlid. Another Central American. Uh, real beautiful little fish. I'm pretty excited to be able to offer these guys for the first time. out of the bag we have another waro. Said so six individually bagged waros. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go with box number two. Let's see what joys we have in here. Well, we've got some more of those Central American cichlids and yes, we got another one. Oh, this isn't who I thought it was. This is somebody else entirely get a good look at this guy. This is a good size fire eel. Of course, fire eels will get more than two feet. I've seen them up to almost four feet, but that's a great size for an import. Beautiful fish, great reds. Such a cool fish. Uh, let's see, who else do we have in here? Ah, here's who I thought I was grabbing out. This is another one of those reticulated bikers been flying out of here so fast and they've been available so I keep just buying them. Super cool fish. Again they get that emerald green on their head and in their front fins as they get comfortable. We have I think seven varieties of biker right now uh, of which the reticulated have been flying out of here quick but we keep getting whatever we can get in those. Here's another guy that we had last week or two weeks ago. This is another one of those Giardini arowanas or Australian arowanas. So happy with the last one, flew out of here. I grabbed another one, got a pretty good price on those for the size. Uh, and of course we got another arowana, those were available this week. This is a silver arowana. Decent size on these two, not the baby with the yolk sac. So big enough to be well started. Uh, of course, silvers. Get longer than the Jardinis, but not quite as heavy. And here we go again. We got, oh, I've been trying to get more of the pygmy quarries. These are actually the pygmies, not just the uh, dwarf quarries. Uh, Corydoras pygmaeus. Got a nice little batch of these guys. These guys school up like a tetra, do the tetra imitator thing. Super cool little guy that only gets about an inch. We like to keep these in stock whenever possible. They've been kind of hard to get in the last couple months, so we're happy to be able to offer those again. And next, and 
last in this box. You guys know I love Corys. This is Corydoras Simulus, or the Violet Cory. Little tank bred fish. Got decent size on them. They're on the small side, but they look like they're good and fat. Uh, smudge spots, yeah, the name for those. And huge fan of Corys in general, but this is a nice, not too expensive, real exotic looking Cory. Last time we had them, they were eight or nine dollars. So they're not, they're not cheap, but they're not terribly expensive. All right, that's it for box number two. All right, here we go with box number three. Looking for some more of those South American cichlids, and I'm not sure what else. I know I got another plecko in here. Let's see. First thing out of the box, another. Central American cichlid that I've not had in the store before. This one's called a Monte Cristo. They're in the Veja group. A neat, neat Central American cichlid. Next up, we have a L183, another type of plecko. This is a type of ancestress or bushy nose. The 183s, they call them the Starlight Galaxy or uh, they'll call them uh, blue sea man sisters. I'm sorry. I... Go take the bag. Yeah, blue sea man sisters. Neat, neat. Little bushy nose pleco. Uh, oh, we've got a couple of these guys to look forward to. This is a black ghost knife. There's a couple of them. Good size on these. I like them when they have this much size. They're much easier to get started. Get them on blood worms. Of course, these guys get about a foot, but they're pretty good for a uh, most community tanks, as long as you don't have tiny, tiny fish. Sometimes the bigger guys will start getting annoying when they get real big. You can fail out of a community tank. Uh, next out of here, that was the other L114. This is a uh, leopard cactus or the uh, red fin stern ally again. I grabbed two of them this week because I've sold, the, sold them every week. So I'm trying to get two weeks out of these guys. <laughs> As you guys know, I absolutely love my Pleco, so I love it when you guys buy them. That gives me an excuse to buy more. Here's another really necessary piece for the Planet Tank. This is the uh, Common Autos. Completely out this week, so I'm glad to get a nice fat batch of those guys. Looking good. And uh, Nicaraguensis. I just like saying the name. Nicaraguensis, or a Macaw Cichlid. Another Central American. These guys get yellow. They also call them the yellow cichlid. Though that can be mistaken for a Salvini. Uh, they get males yellow on the body and rainbow burst in their fins with a big blue head. Gorgeous Central American. Pretty easy going for personality too. Let's see. Get down to Scarlet Anglers. Our vibe bears have been picking up a bit. We sold out of guppies a couple weeks running and. I wanted to add some nice color to our endlers. Apparently these were pairs. I thought we were just getting getting males, but uh, we got males and females on those guys. And oh, puffers have been really hard to find lately. So when I find them, I get them. This is a little baby fajaca. Of course, that's one of the giant puffers. You need a big tank for these guys eventually. So right now he's pretty tiny. Baby monster. And last out of this box, uh, these are black belt cichlids. I ordered these special for somebody a couple weeks ago and they got a lot of looks why they're waiting to go home on the special order, so we went ahead and grabbed a whole nother group of them. Again, that's a black belt cichlid. And that's everybody we've got for box number three. I'm almost halfway, guys. Alrighty, here we go with box number four. This is an order full of a bunch of tonfish, actually. And we got some shrimp 
We have some other great stuff in here. So let's open this guy up and see what we got. Uh, that's not pond fish at all. These are uh, Pseudomagill luminatus, which is uh, one of the dwarf rainbows. They're not the pygmies, or little tiny rainbows. If you have no bigger than about an inch and a half, maybe two. These guys got that great orange color. Super cool guy. Got a good price on them too. Okay, these are the albino dwarf frogs. We've been getting in the regular guys, but I haven't seen the blonde ones for quite a while. And they're a little smaller, but they look nice and fat. I'm pretty happy with this group. There we got albino frogs. Next we have, might as well grab out a whole nother bag of frogs. Another fat batch, not quite as big as the last ones we've been getting, but still nice and chubby, looking pretty good. Right, let's see if this is. Oh, I was like, is this another bag of autos? No, this is small baby bushy nose. They're small enough that I got fooled that they were autos. Um, again, bringing in. Lots of baby bushies because I'm behind on production. If any of you guys out there are producing babies, get a hold of me because we, we've been buying them. Next we've got something else I've been having a hard time getting. These are dojos, the regular colored brown ones. Not a bad size on them. With any luck, we'll have some great luck bringing those guys out of quarantine. Not a quasi-pond fish for those guys, but summer you can put them outside or in a cool water tank. They won't do well in the pond with the winter though. Uh, snails. Your eggs have been hit and miss, so let's see what these guys look like. We got zebra nearites, nice group. Looking good. That one's really pretty. Great algae control, won't breed in your tank. Super popular, great uh, snail for the aquarium. And lastly, we have. These are individually bagged gold rams. Sold through all the rams we got on that last batch, so we got more in. Of course, these are going to be impossible to see in the bag. So they'll be more interesting in the tank videos tomorrow. But uh, there's your sneak peek on gold rams. Alright, that's it for this box. So let's see what's next. Hi right, guys, here we go with box number five. Eight boxes this week. It's a big order, so these next four boxes are going to go pretty quick because there's a lot of pond fish. Not all pond fish, though. These guys right here are red caparandas. I promised these to a few people this week. I'm picking up uh, fancy goldfish when I can find them if they look good, and uh, here we had some red caps. Next is like pond fish. Uh, what are you guys? Butterfly koi. Five inch butterfly koi. Oh, there's some nice ones in there. Nice bright oranges, some whites. Long fins on these guys in good size. And next to those guys we have something that looks really big. Let's see if I can pick them up. They're going to be heavy. We got these are indeed a seven to nine inch koi. Got a good price on these again this week. So completely out last week of all our biggest stock. So we brought in more. Always fun to see what colors we get. So that's your seven to nines, and that's everything for this box. And here is box number six. I'm gonna get my workout today. It looks like another pond fish box. Let's see what comes out of the bag. Yeah. These fellas here, what are you? Can't see you. Oh, uh, big sarasas. I got a couple of different batches of sarasa comets. 
These are comets, not koi. Nice big red and white sarasas. Uh, three different sizes what I ordered. We'll see what each of them come in like. I think these look like the five inch. We've got five inch and seven inch on the sarasas expected. Let's see what else. Uh, these are koi. These are agons, the metallics. Agons or ogons. Had a fellow pick up some of the bigger ones yesterday. He said that uh, they looked so much better in person. I don't know, they look pretty good in the bag, but it's hard to get a good video, especially the bag's fog. But these are the five to seven, five to six inch ogons, or four to five inch ogons. Good price on those, still at $15. Nice fish for the money. That's it for this box. Let's head on to box seven. All righty, let's see what these guys are. Well, I'm not sure. This isn't anything I ordered. These are an African cichlid, a peacock. Maybe red empress. I'll have to contact my supplier and see what they actually sent me. I'm going to guess these are probably what I was expecting for wine millerize, but these aren't wine millerize. They're some kind of African cichlid. That happens sometimes. We get surprises and then we get real surprises. So there's those guys. Now let's see what's next. And here's a better type of surprise. Here's uh, some really nice uh, neon rosy barbs. All males. Really bright red even in the bag. They're not the long fin variety but they got great color. Those are pretty awesome looking. And let's see. Next we have this is another mischief. I saw this on the invoice. I'd asked for electric blue Acaras because I had a few people ask after the ones we sold for last week. Instead, I ended up with electric blue Jack Dempsey's. Uh, nice looking fish on the small side, but they usually come in real tiny. Real great color. Electric blue Jacks are a really insane looking fish, especially when they're little. Uh, then, let's see, red tail sharks. Somebody asked about those last week too, and I got to looking, and sure enough, I didn't have any. Got some rainbow sharks over there and the albinos, but no red tail, so we fix that. There they are. Common staple that we always have in stock, or almost always. And here we have that's neon tetras, looking a little washed out, which is normal in the bag. Get those guys quarantined, looking great in a few minutes. Nice size on those, about twice the size of the last batch we got. Um, here we have, looks like a guppy. We're gonna go with guppy. Oh, I can see, they're a little blanched out, but these are uh, yellowtail tuxedo guppy. Look a little more snakeskin than I expected, but super cool looking. Neat, neat. Our, uh, we have lots of requests for live bears these last few weeks, and we've been trying to pick out some of the best to bring you. Uh, another go on these Japanese blue guppies. Some red tails mixed in there a little bit. Pretty fish, though. These have been super popular. have been flying out of here. So Japanese blue guppies. We have Singapore shrimp. Kind of small on these guys. They've suddenly been hard to get. A lot of your Asiatic stuff have gotten really hard to get in recent months. Uh, so I grabbed these just as soon as I could see them. They just <laughs> cool shrimp. I love filter feeding shrimp in general. Uh, next down. Oh, these guys. I spent some money on these guys. And their color is good in the bag. Hopefully they color up even more. These are the Galaxy Koi, Galaxy Koi Vettas. Hopefully these guys turn out as amazing as I hope. I'm always trying to get you guys the absolute best of Vettas I can find. And that should be something really cool. Uh, let's see. Somebody had asked me for these guys. These are your crown tail female bettas. Brought in a variety of these guys. Of course, bettas again are really hard to see in the bag. These are crown tail females. Nice colors. Got 
nice variety of colors on these guys. And they came in fairly inexpensive too. That one's got the yellow in the fence. Nice. Alright, next we have more individually bagged rams. These are the blue rams. Good size on these. And they're pretty blanched from shipping. We'll see what the colors are when we do the tank videos tomorrow. Completely out of rams again. You guys have been just insatiable for rams. Bettas. These are Galaxy Koi female bettas. And actually not a bad price for what they are. We'll have to see what the colors can be. I see a lot of yellows in them, so hopefully they turn out pretty amazing. As they settle in, we'll get an idea what the colors are going to look like. I promised you shrimp. Here is shrimp. Here is orange shrimp. Bouncing all over the place. Uh, we've got a good stock on Neos right now, but I ran out of oranges last week, so here we replaced them for you. One more thing in the box here. Looks like more shrimp. No, it's more guppies. Well, now I don't know what I got. I'll have to get that sorted out because these look like the yellowtail guppies that I promised you. So maybe those other guppies were just a uh, just a bonus. Eh, well, it's been kind of an interesting order that way. Got a couple things that weren't quite what we expected. But this looked good. So there we go. All done with box number seven. Alrighty guys, last box. I'm predicting pondfish. Let's see what we see. did there. I was expecting more Sarasis than that. Less Augans. That's alright. Here he is. More Sarasis. And these are more of the bigger guys. Alright, that's it for this order. I think we've got the uh, reel in the can. So I solved one of my mysteries. I thought these guys were the yellow tuxedo guppies, and then I found the yellow tuxedo guppies. These are actually endlers. Uh, even while I was looking at them, I'm like, wow, they're kind of small. They kind of look like endlers. Uh, these are the cobra snakeskin endlers. Got a pretty nice pattern on them as they started to color up. I realized exactly what they were. Actually, super cool find on those. Here we go, guys. Apparently, I got a bonus box. I don't know if I miscounted or what, but I got a whole box of stuff I missed. I should have remembered because I knew I had some plants on the order and I hadn't seen any. So very first thing out of the box I got looks like some java fern. Let's open this up. Take a look at java fern. You guys bought most of what I bought last week. So here we go again with that. And we also have some hornwort. Hornwort. It's a great uh, plant for fry uh, in your colder water tanks. It does great. It can fall apart if it's too hot or too much, uh, not enough light anyway. Do I have anything else in there? I think it was just, yeah, just warm wort and java fern and plants this week. Of course, if you caught last week's unboxing video, we have a ton of new plants in, so don't miss that. we got to get you guys some tank photos of that because really got a great group in there and still most of it left so still lots to choose from. Uh, let's see, here is another bag of ghost shrimp, another special order this week. We've been rocking and rolling on ghost shrimp. And some more pond fish. Here is some big here's some big shabunkins I was expecting. Five inch shabunkins look amazing. Nice large group of those guys. And here's the little sarasas I was looking for earlier. 
good price on these guys. I think they're going to go out for three bucks a piece. So a nice, colorful fish for your smaller pond. Or if you're stocking up, you've got a good pond for on these. One more batch of pond fish. Let's figure out what we got here. These are... Is that another grade of Sarasa? bags is a bag of koi and one's a bag of sarasa. I've got, got something mixed up in there. Maybe I got two lock ons. I don't know. I've got to separate these out and figure out what it is. Long and short is I got some nice mid grade, good sized fish for you guys to choose from this week in the pond fish. So now that really is the last box for this week's order. I'm going to do it again next week. So I'm going to open up these bags and see what kind of pond fish we actually got. I got a little confused when we were unboxing on the sizes on everybody. This is a nice grade of Sarasa. I think that these guys are the up to six inch, like the four to six inch Sarasas. And really beautiful fish in there. These guys for sure are the small Sarasas. We won't mix those up. I got a good price on these this week. I went ahead and invested in some bigger comets. We all have been looking for some big, bigger guys. Let's open up this other bag of Sarasas and take a look and see what. Make sure I got the grading right. These guys are supposed to be up to eight inches. And that guy is pretty big. Some of these guys are a little off grade, I think, but. Um, Nice colors again on those guys, so real nice, even if they're um, maybe not quite as big as I'd hoped. These guys here, very impressed with these guys. These are the Shabunkins. These are the up to five inch Shabunkins. And great colors, great size, nice tails. Those guys are, they're gonna fly out of here. Those are pretty awesome. Okay, and then, we got another batch of Ogons, or Ogons. Nice colors. These are the five inch Ogons and a nice size on them. They, they grade at four to five inch. I think they're at least five inches on those guys. Not as big as our sevens, but really nice. Okay. Here is Butterfly Koi. These are the five inch butterflies. Another nice colorful batch of these guys. Good variety. An all white one there. That's kind of cool. Okay, that's those guys. And some monsters. Seven to nine inches is what the grade said. Stinky. That's a nice big fish in there. Let's see if I can get them so you can see them. Look how big that guy's head is. Nice colors, nice bright colors on all four of these guys. Uh, nice looking large koi. Okay, that's what we got for those guys. Alrighty, that's what we got for this order today. Uh, great big bunch of stuff to get sorted out here. We'll get it all into tanks and try to get you some video up tomorrow. Hope you uh, come back by for that. We'll see you all soon. Yeah, box number seven. Let's see what we got. These are more tropicals in here. Some shrimp. I got some really cool bettas I'm expecting. Uh, let's see, you guys, what are you guys? No idea. I have to look at the invoice and see what 